jump right into do I have brain damage yes or no yes do I yes okay so if we can fix that then consistently you'll be happier the two most important things here for me is fixing my eye and fixing my brain and then I feel like I'll be closest back to myself I'm just excited to see you I'm happy. I'm doing much better. Tell me what you have done since the last time I saw you. I have done the hyperbaric chamber. I took the vitamins. I've been taking the pills every day. Even if I don't take the pills and I'm stuttering a little bit on camera, these guys will check me and they'll be like, hey, did you take your pills today? And then I, sometimes I don't. And those are the ones I gave you? Yeah. And I wake up now with a purpose. I always just wanted to make wacky comedy videos and just make people laugh and this kind of gave me a different feel and it was nice it was you know like a sense of like this is what life's about more than just stupid jokes i'm still gonna do the stupid jokes you know <laughs> but i feel like i'm back to myself it was a dark year and keeping everything bottled up inside wasn't healthy something you said to me last time stuck with me and i've been using it and I think it's really helped me out. And I notice now my father's in town and I see him as like an older version of myself. And I see him get pissed off a lot about stuff. It could be politics, it could be stuff that's completely out of his control. Something he just hears somebody say or like a family member will send him a text and he's just, God damn it, you son of a bitch. And he's just like cursing. And I see myself going down that path. The ants, the anti, auto, no, automatic negative thoughts syndrome. Ants. Yeah, and I've been using that. Like, this is just an ant. I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna waste energy on it. Let's waste my energy on making something productive, like a, a positive piece of art, piece of work, you know? Don't waste my energy on something that's out of my control. That's an ant, you know? I love that. Let's squash the ants. You yeah, know. you don't have to believe every stupid thing you think. Yeah. You can go, huh, does that help me or does it hurt me? I've noticed also that when I'm having fun doing my videos, they are uh, received better from the audience. Like people just enjoy watching me have fun rather than me be stressed out doing my videos. And for a while there, I was so depressed that it was hard for me to even do the videos just because I didn't want to do them, I didn't feel I wasn't happy, I wasn't feeling myself, I wasn't confident. And I just, I couldn't not do them because with YouTube, like you have to consistently post. And I just didn't want to be doing it and it was obvious in my videos. I needed to get everything off my chest before I could move on. And that's why we're here now. So on a scale of one to 10, how's your mood? So if one is you want to die and 10 is awesome. Yeah, um, I'm not going to come right out and say 10. Um, but if I was a four last time, you gave my brain a four out of 10 and I'm not gonna lie, that hurt when you said it. I was like, fuck, my brain's a four out of 10, I'm an idiot. And I realize now looking back at that time where I was at, my depression, just what I would do in a day, it just wasn't healthy, it wasn't like, it just wasn't right. And now where I'm at, I'm working all the time and I'm a bit stressed from work, but I'd say my brain is like an eight compared to like the four it was at. Just if I would have did no scan and came in here and told you how I'm feeling. Yeah, that was a nice cherry on top was coming here to see you because um, at the end of my documentary, I was struggling to figure out how to end it. I felt off, like I felt like I, I maybe needed to see a therapist or something and uh, it was like a, a brain injury that caused all of this. So I was suggested, like you were recommended to me by a friend and it was just perfect to come in and actually see that there is damage to my brain and there is hope to improve it. It's just like the closest I can get to a happy ending. So 
Are we going to see if there's any improvements there? Well, your scan is so interesting. The follow-up scan is so interesting. So let me pull it up. For you, the most important part is you see all this red. So if we go back to healthy, shouldn't be much red here. And when I saw you, you were really anxious and really depressed. Yeah. And today, this is much calmer. So this is way better. Your emotional brain is calmer. That's physical. Yeah. Your frontal lobe's better here. That's positive, right? It's positive that this is the area right here is the area that was really damaged. And this is the area that's gonna mess your life up because focus, forethought, judgment, impulse control, thinking through the decisions you make. And like you said, it's only been a short time. Yeah. We're making progress. But you are likely suffering less because the limbic brain, your emotional circuits, calming down. Love that. Yeah. Love that. But we can do better still. What about my Your cerebellum, which is right here, is just awesome. But if we keep working on it, it can get much better. Yeah. So this is our goal. And I think I'm gonna have to stop smoking weed to get to that goal. You have to. All right. Because every time you do, it lasts in your body for 30 days. Yeah. Because it's fat soluble. Yeah. And it, it goes in and it just sort of sticks around. Yeah. So every decision you make is a 30 day decision. Mm -hmm. And it shrinks your brain. So your brain has the ability to get better still. I'll just be honest with you, Doc, I drink a lot of coffee. That's one thing that I'm gonna have trouble giving up. I don't do the booze, I don't do drugs, besides a little bit of weed once in a while to write some jokes, but- um, So less weed than before? Less weed, yeah, for sure. I was smoking during the day. When I was in recovery, like just trying to heal up, I would smoke sometimes during the day. And that was terrible, because that's just like when you wake up I mean, I, I doubt you've ever gone through a stage where you woke up and felt like you didn't have anything to do with your life. But when I was healing, I was just like, I can't work out. I can't do videos because my face is smashed and my eyes stitched shut. So I can't work. I can't exercise. What's there to do today? I'll just smoke weed and watch TV or something, you know? But that's changed now. Now I wake up, slam down a coffee and just bolt out my door and go for a five mile run. And then I come back here, I verbally abuse my employees and tell them get their shit together. I slap their Coca-Colas out of their hand. I say, it's bad for your brain, get it together. <laughs> and then we go right into a serious work day. My workload has tripled in the past month. I started a training camp for boxing. And they wanna, you'd love to hear that, right? Sparring three times a week. Getting you are sparring knocked three times? in the head. Yeah, I don't want you being knocked in the head. The goal of boxing is to hit and not get hit. So I'll hopefully, sorry, I'll hopefully the be The goal getting, of boxing is to hit. Hit and not get hit. So hopefully I'll be getting you some other clients and I will be retiring. Oh, well, that's big, good business for me. Why just, are you uh, boxing? I don't know. Um, a lot of people ask me this and it's not for the money at all. I know it seems like a new thing that people are doing for the money. I just got so into combat sports. So if we look out five years, 10 years, and that's what your frontal lobe does. It yeah. looks ahead. Mm -hmm. What do you think will make you happy? Because I have world champion boxers. Yeah. Uh, I've scanned four world heavyweight Boxers. Yeah. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. Um, it doesn't make you happy. So yeah. you had that wicked injury. Yeah. You don't want to add to it, mm -hmm. right? Because our goal is to repair it, and it can be. How exciting is that, right? That area is not dead. You didn't kill it, but you hurt it. 
And so we don't want to stack other stresses. So you got rid of the alcohol, significantly decreased marijuana. That's yeah. good. Your mood's better. So we want to stack the good habits just because when your brain is right, everything's better. I don't have all the answers, Doc. All right, I, I'm doing my best here, you know. Um, we're making progress, I'm taking the vitamins. Even if I do my intermittent fasting, I still take the vitamins and that's tough. I don't know if you've seen any clips of me on my podcast complaining about your vitamins to my millions of followers. Sometimes I'm burping up, I'm like nearly vomiting because I take them on an empty stomach, but that's any vitamins, you know? So that box, the red box, is what I used in my NFL study. Okay. 80% of my players showed improvement. Yeah. And these are people that were hitting the head thousands. Of I feel better. I feel better on the days that I take them than the days that I don't take them. So I'm I'm saying they like, I, I agree. They work. I feel like they work. So I'm all for them. I'm just saying that like people have their speculation on like, on the work that you do. I'm sure you see it in the comments and I, I'm, I'm here, I'm back. I'm here to shut those fucking haters up because I'm doing great. I didn't expect the response that I got to where now I'm like some motivational speaker, like I'm an inspirational guy because I used to make fun of those guys, but now I've become a real <laughs> motivational person by a freak accident. And it's just like, I never expected it, but it did give me a purpose in life now. People with eye injuries, people that lost their eye, people that had the same accident as me, like like pretty much exact same scars laid out, like shattered orbital, full blowout. And- How was it for you? It was so nice. It was so nice just being able to talk to people that have gone through something similar. Um, so much better now. I'm happy that I got to experience that so I can appreciate this more now. It sounds like it fed your soul. It did, yeah. Um, yeah, it just it made me realize that. And, it, and like, it changes from I do this to make money to I do this because it helps people. Yeah. Which and was you the, have to make money because if there's no margin, there's no mission. Yeah. Right? So yeah. I, people like get weird about that. But I think making money is awesome. Mm -hmm. But the point isn't to make money because money doesn't make anybody happy. Mm -hmm. It's making a difference. That's what makes people happy. Yeah. And you make a difference because you make people smile, you make people laugh, you entertain people. That's valuable. Yeah. But yeah. now you're helping to change their life. Yeah. That, to me, this is the most exciting part of the process. It's like, can I make it better? And we're on the way there. Yeah. We still have a ways to go. So more hyperbaric, keep up with supplements. Yeah. Kill the weed. And, and I'd be very careful about boxing because you can get in the ring with some person that doesn't have your best interest in mind. They just want to win. Yeah. And this area is still vulnerable. Yeah. I don't want anybody whacking you in the head. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, to somebody who cares about you and your brain. Yeah, cool. I'm just so excited. To I'm be excited. On this journey with you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.